Hello and welcome to part three for July 30th and this is forward testing section. We are in the forward testing and we're forward testing these uh, uh, instruments that popped up on the screener earlier this week. Let's see how they did and see who is still in the game. Okay, VST is still in the game and uh, it's come up and pull back. Remember, now we are forward testing. So that means that if we were, if this was a real, if this trade was on, we would have our, our st stop would be here. This will be our stop. And that stop would be what we would call the EP, the entry price stop. So you start off with, you start off with, um, okay, you start off with a initial stop down here. This is a review. So you, you start, we would start off with our initial stop here as a stop one, stop two in the event that it uh, clears the gantry as it did here. It then you move the stop to the um, second second stop, and then the third stop was up here at the first ratio, the first win ratio of 1995. So those are the stops we are, and this game is still in game. This is still in play for the um, VTS and our off our statistic standard uptrend. And that's what we're looking for. So this is still in the game. If anybody who did not qualify under trade, we are going to remove them from the list and move on forward. That's also what forward testing is about. And uh, that is, did it qualify? And if it didn't qualify, then you have to have the courage to say, let it go. Yes, let it go. As much as it pains, you have to because it, the entry conditions have changed. And if the entry conditions can change, then the trade is not optimal for you to win. And winning is what this is all about. It's making sure you stick to your discipline, your rules, your game plan, and then know to accept when to get out. Okay, that takes us on now to Merck. Let's go see what Merck did today. That was the next one that came on the scan during the week. And Merck, Merck entered the trade that it trade triggered, but it did not clear the gantry as it is. It needs a, needs a full candle up here, and it's retreating now into the mid zone. So there is some support here at the mid point between the entry exit, and then our stop is here at 75.63. So this is where we will be, we'll be sitting here on, we're sitting here on the first stop. And that's a way of uh, forward testing. He said, okay, we got, we, got, we got one trade winning, one trade losing. Now let's go ahead and we don't need the uh, ticker. Technical. Okay, now we're going on to AMC. So now we go to AMC. And now we have to zoom in real close here to see did it, did it trigger? It could, be, it could be a questionable call. Remember the trade was being set up here on July 26th. That's what the end of the scans point is at right there. And we, we got now we have to be very very good about it. Now remember there are a little bit of a of, of a discussion. Do we take it off the top of the wick or do we take it off the top of the body? If the wick is tiny like that, I take it off the wick. So the high here is 4085. I would make it 4090. So I'll come over here and I'll put 4090 up here. There's 4090. And then my stop is this because it was here. This is the swing low. There it is right there, the swing low. And you go to the swing low, and that was 40 3469 to 3465. 3465. Go ahead and check that correct. The low was 39.69, right? 34.65. So now that's now you see the order did not trigger. It did not trigger. So AMC will not be in the game today at all. It's actually going to come off the list, and we're not going to review it when it come Monday. So I'll make myself here my note for this, and that is the forward testing list. And the forward testing is going to have uh only so far, forward testing so far is only VST and MRK. 
and AMC is now off the list. So what we're going to do, we can leave it there for future. When we do a new trade, when this comes up again, remove your old notes. You can leave the old notes there for when you go into, into the next trade, but then clean them up when you have new notes going for the fresh trade. That said, that takes us now to EWT. That's the ETF for Taiwan. And uh, let's zoom in and see if, and also tier, good example. Another one. Order did not trigger. There's the high, in which was 6408, would have been 6410. And then the bottom of the swing low over here on the left would have been 6192, 6190. And the order did not trigger, and the order would have been canceled. So now AMC is off, you know, EWT is now off our list. And when you have two now to track forward for forward testing. With that said, let's go on now to scanner time. And here at scanner time, we have uptrend, all optionable, $10 to 100, 2 million, which is what the forward testing is going on. And we run it. And the answer is nothing. All right. Good lesson. This is another good lesson. What happens when your scanner doesn't give you any opportunities? Well, if you're a conservative trader, nothing. You're looking for the best optimum opportunity for a trade to make a trade. So you don't need to go out there and gun go gunslinging for, for marginal trades. Marginal trades will kill you. And it's proven in the Jack Swaggart book. I highly recommend get Audible, go in there and get, get Jack Swaggart's book. And in Jack Swaggart people, uh, the Jack Swaggart uh, book, uh, New Market Wizards and the Old Market Wizards, the first book that he written in 1998, um, all say the same thing. If you don't have a trade, sit on your hands. That's right. So... Uh, that said, but new no, here, I just realized we do have a buying power in uh, our in the alpha account because we had the exit on DBA in part one of today's series. So uh, let's go ahead and load up the um, uptrending for the uh, for the alphas and see if the alphas have anything because we now have more than 10% available of our capital for trading and. The answer is nothing there. And according to the rules that we are engaging with this, we are going now to load up our next. And we're going to go to the downtrend, see if we have any any puts by chance. I like to have a mix of calls and puts because we able to, nope, nothing there. Now, I am an aggressive trader, so I will then go to my intermediate scanners. My intermediate scanners is the stochastics of 10, a, of 10 EMA in the downtrend. Again, it's the alphas. And we'll run it there. And the answer is nothing there. And now we'll come over here and now we'll load up the 10 EMA to the upside off based off stochastics. And the answer is nothing there. Now we're going to the aggressive level. This is the aggressive level, which is only taking in consideration the in the indicators without regard with disregarding trend which is not cool but th that is part of my trading to prove this and we're going to go to the alpha account and stochastics in the downtrend on the aggressive side we have two so dia will be up now on the list for uh checking out as actual trade for the alphas. This would be actual trades for the alphas and the McDonald's. And in the closing minutes, closing seconds actually, in the closing seconds, we're going to now go to the upside stochastics for the alphas and send it away. And the answer is there's nothing there. So we only have two, and it's going to be for the put side. Well, with that said, that concludes part three of today's report of forward testing. And now we're going to do a fourth video today. It's setting up the trades for Monday or like investigate the trades for Monday on DIA and MACD. And thank you very much for stopping by and checking it out.